Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Welcome to Throwback Thursday and look what we got today. This is a Aerial Red Hunter, 1959 Aerial Red Hunter, 500 single, 500 cc single cylinder. An interesting motorcycle in many ways, but there's something about this particular motorcycle that's very interesting, and that is that this is the original paint, and here it even gets better. Those are the original miles, 2137 miles. 1959 motorcycle with 2137 miles on it had the original tires on it when they got it and uh, it took the engine apart and it said everything looked brand new so very uh very unique amongst a unique motors you know amongst a group of unique, unique motorcycles so uh anyway so what is it what is it well it's the red hunter was kind of their bread and butter motorcycle through the 30s 40s 50s and 60s different models came out three 250s 350s this is a 500. Um, they were, I think they were all singles. I think they might have made a twin one year, but I'm not sure about that. But uh, there were different versions of this. There were some with aluminum cylinders. This one has cast iron cylinders. Uh, very interesting bike in that sense. Uh, Bergman, Bergman, something like that. Four speed transmission, one up, four, three down. Um, overhead valve, the cams are down here somewhere. These are where the push rods, push rods come through push up to the uh, overhead valves, because it had overhead valves. Let's see what we can spot on this side. And this is the planar side of the engine, but those are where the uh, rocker arms are. A mall carburetor, we think it's about a 30 millimeter. Very nice. Kickstart only, of course. Um, this is a generator on top, and this is the magneto on the bottom. It had a magneto ignition system, generator on top of that, all ran off Right, right here in uh, probably a chain right through here, or maybe gears because of those two screws. I'm not quite sure, but uh, very interesting looking machine, huh? Like I said, kickstart only, separate transmission from the engine. Look at these exposed oil lines. <laughs> I love exposed oil lines. I know we don't do them anymore, but they're there. Uh, air cleaner right here, little box, isn't that cool? Dry sump, here's the oil tank. I like it, I like it. A lot of very interesting things here. Um, so here's the brake system, and here's this kind of an interesting thing here. So the brake, you know, fulcrum's here. This is a, I don't know, 14, 16 inch long lever. Goes up here, and jogs over here, up here. Watch that, as it moves. And that goes over here, where it actuates a cable. This cable runs back here to the brake, to the drum brake on the back. For you, uh, a lot of complexity would seem right. There's a lot of effort went into getting that right, I guess. I like it. It's a double cradle frame. It does go under the engine. The engine fits inside. Here's the single exhaust pipe. That, it, uh, that's, I don't know if that's original or not. That, I, I know they were, Red Hunters were known for having chrome. Um, you know, let's look at all the chrome. It's the exhaust and the shocks, you know, on the side of the engine here battery strap cap this piece here a um, little bit of chrome up here chrome bars you know all this stuff if you look here you take these two screws off this chrome piece comes off and the tank is bolted down through a bolt that goes right through the center of the tank right there but that's kind of an interesting tank too isn't it look at these old knee pads little chrome wrap around them i can't read that a little symbol of some sort i can't make it out maybe the camera will pick pull it out better very interesting looking, nice checkerboarding there. Just a gorgeous thing, chrome cap, gorgeous thing. So let's go to the front end. By modern standards, those, those seem like very thin tubes. Uh, they've got covers over them. This is a metal housing, a little, a little stripe there, you know. Metal housing over the headlight, little nacelle, you know. Uh, look at that massive fender bracing around it. Now, speaking of the fender, you know, here's the rear fender. These are, this is called a quick detach fender. And uh, you take these bolts out and you could take this off. You got a flat tire out in the middle of nowhere. You could change your tire back in those days. You know, that was a common thing. More common than today, of course. It's got a center stand and a side stand. Now let's go back to the front. Look at this drum brake, huh? Here's the torque bar. Just, <laughs> I like it. I like this kind of mechanical stuff. You know, to me, this is, I've said it before, this is old art, you know, beautiful old art to me. Look at this on the back here. 
aerial. Just a gorgeous thing. The chain is enclosed on this model. Apparently that's a hard thing to find. They've got another one in the other room and that's all gone. Now they've got to, that one has an aluminum sprocket on it. We, I don't think this one probably does, but uh, this is a horn right here. It's kind of staring at that, trying to figure out what that is. I'm assuming the toolkit and things like that are under there. Six bolt battery right there. It's a single, by the size of this, this would be a single row chain running from the uh, crankshaft to the uh, clutch hub. Clutch would be right in there. And I'm not sure what kind of clutch it is. It was very hard for me to find information on this motorcycle. The internet just was not cooperating. Isn't that a good look? Nice, good, classic look on the front there. So let's go up here. Up this chrome, you know, pinstriped chrome tank. This is a steering dampener here. Over here, this is probably a, either a high-low or a kill switch. Although there is a high-low switch here. Um, choke or timing. Down here is a compression release. You'd get, you use that to get the compression out of the engine so that you uh, could kick it easier. Big 500 cylinder. Um, again, choke or timing on this side, throttle. Mechanical brakes, there's your adjusters right there. Clutch right there, of course. Single mirror. Over here you've got the uh, made, in, made in England chromatic. Chromatic, uh, I have, I'm gonna have to figure out how those work inside. That's an interesting thing. I've seen that on a lot of these older bikes. Here's an ammeter, plus or minus. And uh, this to me seems like it would be the light switch. It says low L and H, so low and high maybe. But uh, interesting. Very interesting machine in many, many ways. So I found a lot of history, but I didn't find any motorcycle specific information on these. So we're just kind of gonna have to learn as we go here. But it's, uh, it's a very interesting looking bike to me. And again, I guess gotta point it out, this particular model, which is for sale, at BaxterCycle.com right there. Get a hold of these guys if you're interested. It has 2,137 original miles. And this is supposed to be original paint. Just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what you'd call that color. It's uh, We were talking about that earlier. We came up with kind of a dark cherry, you know. I know the bike's a Red Hunter, but uh, this is kind of a very interesting thing. You know, how did this bike get saved like this? That's really a bizarre thing. In 1959, you know, that's... Uh, 41 and 22, that's that's a 63 years old. Absolutely amazing machine. I, I love everything about it. Uh, they have it running. It runs. They serviced it. It runs. They drove it around. Um, I suggested that it would be a better video if I wrote it, but uh, apparently I'm the only one with that idea. So <laughs> I tried, my friends. I tried. If you're interested in something like this, get a hold of Baxter Cycle at BaxterCycle.com. As for Randy or Jeremy or somebody like that, they'll uh, be glad to tell you all about it. I just love looking at that. That's uh, To me, that's just art, just beautiful art. I really like, this was a very stylized bike, I think, for the time. Anyway, hey, thank you all for coming to Throwback Thursday. We'll see you next week. Get out there and ride, my friends. Life is good. Wahoo! Aluminum sprocket, stamped and welded together, swing arm, generator, magneto, cast iron uh, or metal uh, cylinder, aluminum head, brake, look at this brake linkage here, crosses over and then goes back. The tank is bolted on from the top. Look at that beautiful work. Love these old brakes. Torque rod right there. The drive for the uh, magneto and generator.